Hey everyone, it's Ryan on the Syntax Byte, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a calendar that you created in Excel and convert those to actual calendar events in Microsoft Outlook. So I've already created the calendar here with some sample data. The one, the couple of things that you wanna make sure when you've created your calendar in Excel is the first thing is it has to be in this format. So it has to be in kind of a list format. If you had something, for instance, where you had actually created a calendar view and, and in a cell, or maybe you had a merge cell with, with uh, a bunch of different events, uh, you would need to go ahead and convert it to a list format like I have here. Um, depending on how your calendar is set up, there might be different ways to do that. I'm not gonna cover that in depth in this video, but you do need to have it set up so that all of your um, events are kind of set up in this table uh, format uh, like we would typically see uh, in Excel. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is you want to make sure um, that you, your calendar has uh, a header here for all the things. So this is how you're going to actually tell Microsoft Outlook like, hey, I've, I've got this sheet. It's got these columns. Like, what are these columns and like, how do you map that? Um, back to to a particular like field in in the event um, and then lastly you just want to make sure that all of your events are on one sheet um, so i've got it on one sheet here if you had them across multiple sheets you could do multiple imports into outlook but it's easier if you just have them all on one sheet the next thing that you want to do um, is save your calendar as a csv so right now i have a regular excel file an xlsx file that's not quite what we need. We need a CSV. So I'm going to do a save as I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to do a CSV. Oops, not an XML data, a CSV file. And I'm going to go save. So the CSV is what I'm actually going to use in Outlook. Okay. So with that save, we can go ahead and move to Outlook here. I've got the calendar uh, brought up and this is my calendar, this computer only. And so what you can go ahead and do, go to file, go to open and export, and then go to import export. And what you're going to do is you're going to import from another program or file. Go to next. You are going to import from a comma separated values file. Click next. And then you're going to browse for your file. Mine is easily uh, is easy to find on the desktop. Click it. There you go. Um, the next thing is, do you want to allow duplicate items to be created? So if you had some items that are duplicates, um, do you want to um, import them essentially? Um, safest option here is to allow them to be created or do not import. If you replace duplicate items, then you could uh, mess around with your calendar when you didn't mean to. Click next. Uh, the next thing is just to click the calendar as the destination folder for this CSV. You can import other stuff. You can import contacts. I have a video on that as well. Um, in this one, we're going to use uh, calendar, uh, this computer only. So we're going to import that. Uh, we cannot open it because it's open. So make sure you close your Excel. There we go. And there we go. Um, perfect. So the following uh, actions will be performed. You want to check import calendar, and then it's going to open up this thing called map custom fields. Now you just want to map the fields. I don't know why there's some extra characters here, but just don't worry about that. You want to map the fields to like what the significance is for the event. So for instance, the name, that's going to be the subject. Um, the time is the start time and the date would be the start date. By default, it will create one hour events. So I didn't add an end time. You absolutely could um, add an end time. You could also add whether it's an all day event, that would be like a Boolean variable um, or all of these other things. You can add location, you could add uh, whether it's private, what to show the time as, um, et cetera. So I just added those three uh, basic things, but you could definitely add more data uh, and map it as you see fit. So with that done, you just click OK and click finish and it's going to import import those uh, appointments um, and as you can see uh, there um, we actually have um, those appointments 
Uh, it's a little weird because I have my dentist appointment at 11 uh, 30 p.m. Uh, and it goes till 12 30. This is definitely dummy data that I just made um, for this particular uh, demonstration. Uh, but you can see uh, we have all of our events uh, that have been imported there. And like I said, they're all one hour events because uh, we didn't uh, specify an end time or make them all day events, which you could have done as well. So that's how to create a calendar in Excel and import it to Outlook. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. If you did find the video useful, be sure to drop a like on the video or even if you just found it interesting. And if you wanna see more content like this about uh, Microsoft Office and other technical things, be sure to subscribe to the Syntax Byte uh, and I will see you in the next video.